Hi everyone, I'm currently here in India for the holiday season. I've come here to visit my mom um, and so I'm just chilling out. So I thought I'd just pop in for a few minutes to say hey. Um, the bandwidth, the internet that I have here is not great. So I apologize, this is going to be a fairly short video and I would take questions, but today I may not be able to take questions. But anyway, I wanted to say something that's been on my mind. Very often uh, people write me letters with questions or they post questions on my Facebook and a question that comes up from time to time is that um, when I speak about the time that I went through my illness when I was going through cancer I mentioned that I tried everything I tried every healing modality I ate organic um, I was completely vegan I did all the different uh, I took all the supplements for cancer I did everything all kinds of healing modalities but nothing seemed to work until I had the near-death experience so people ask do I have to die to figure out how to how to live and my answer is no and the reason I share my story is because I don't want you to have to die because again I want to remind you something I very often say I was a regular person an ordinary person I always was I still am but I just happened to have an extraordinary experience and I share it because I don't want you to have to go through what I went through and here is what I learned in a succinct point for me what I learned in the NDE that saved my life which didn't which I did not learn through all the healing modalities and everything I was doing that one thing that one key element is that I never knew that I'm supposed to love myself self-love self-love was the key I was surrounded and enveloped in this feeling of love so what do I mean by that and how can you attain that without having to die? So first of all, I want to explain what does lack of self-love look like? When I was going through all those healing modalities, I was doing it from a place of fear. Lack of love is fear. You know, just like you have um, light and darkness. Darkness is not a substance in and of itself. Darkness is the lack of light. Once you turn on the light, the darkness is gone. Love and fear are the same thing. To me, the way I perceive it, fear is the opposite of love. When you increase love, the fear is gone. Now here's how most of us spend our lives though. Most of us, us spend our lives in fear. Not just fear of illness, which was one of the biggest fears I had, but fear of not being good enough, fear of being disliked. I truly was not just an ordinary person, but I was someone who made myself small. I was a people pleaser because I feared not being liked. I feared not being popular. Now here's what happens. When you are in a constant state of fear, when you're in a constant state of stress, when you're in a constant state of depression, these emotions actually wear down your body. They actually deplete the cells in your body. And that is what leads to illness. So no matter how much you um, do, you try and heal yourself, no matter how much you do the the exercises, the meditation, whatever it is you do uh, to heal yourself, no matter how much healthy food you eat, if you're eating the healthy food because you fear illness, you are still wearing down your system by the fear that you're feeling. Now imagine if you changed out those feelings of fear, those feelings of stress, those feelings of maybe even anger. Anger is another one that wears down your system. Imagine if you changed all those feelings out instead for passion, for love, for joy. That, those emotions are very healing to your body. They rejuvenate your cells more than any food, any diet, any healing modality. That is the key element I learned, is that we have to start focusing more on joy, on the love of life, on passion, on love of ourselves, of knowing that we are worthy and deserving of good health. That is exactly what I learned. That is the key element. So when you do eat good healthy food, eat it because you love yourself, you love your body, you want to live long. If you're dealing with, a, with an illness right now, the idea isn't about being stressed 
about the illness, I mean, which is what most of us do naturally. We get stressed about the illness and our medical system doesn't help either because very often once you're in the medical system, it's all about fear of the illness, eradicating the illness, getting rid of the illness. Here's my suggestion. My suggestion is to focus on living life. You can go for whatever treatment that makes you feel like you're helping your body and I'm not a doctor so I'm not going to advocate whether to which course of treatment to take but go for the treatment that makes you feel empowered because your emotions during this time are so important but the main thing I want you to focus on is if you have a clean bill of health if tomorrow you get a clean bill of health from your doctor what will you do with the rest of your life what will you do? Chances are the reason you got sick is because you have been living a fearful, stressful life or an angry life or all these kinds, all of these things have accumulated. So now, if you're dealing with the illness as a repercussion of that, I want you to start thinking, if I have a clean bill of health tomorrow, what am I going to do with the rest of my life? I don't want to go back and live that fearful, angry life. I want to do Whatever. I want to celebrate. I want to have fun. I want to connect with my loved ones. I want to live in joy. I want to find my purpose. I want to live from a place of passion. I want to do things every day that bring me passion. That's what I started doing after I came out. I healed from the cancer. And very often the paradigm that we're stuck in, the medical paradigm, keeps you in fear of stress and triggers all your old emotions. They keep you coming back for more tests. They keep reminding you that you're in remission and things like that. If a doctor tells you you're in remission, I want you to tell yourself in your head that the word remission stands for, it's time for me to remember my mission. I personally don't like the word remission at all because it keeps us in fear. The idea is to move your life forward into passion and love. That is the key element I learned in my near-death experience. So live your life from a place of passion, from a place of love, from a desire to live and not from a place of fear. Thank you for listening. I look forward to connecting you again, with you again soon. I'll try and do more Facebook Lives whenever I can. Thank you. Love you. I'm so sorry I haven't got to your questions because usually I need to turn on a separate phone or a separate device to read your questions and I don't dare take up more bandwidth than I am. So thank you again. I love you and I'm going to connect with you soon. Bye.